Hi, my name is Curtis Donahue with the University of New Hampshire Interoperability Lab, and today I'm going to be discussing single pair Ethernet, more specifically automotive Ethernet. When most people think of e Ethernet, they associate the Cat5 E cable you plug into your laptop or your desktop at home. Uh, automotive Ethernet differs because the cabling structure is only a single twisted pair, two conductors, whereas a Cat5 E or a Cat6 cable is eight conductors. The reason for this is that the automotive industry is very sensitive to cost and weight. So therefore, a quarter of the tw transmit pairs means a quarter of the weight and presumably lower cost. This is because in the last couple decades, there's been a large push for higher fuel efficient vehicles in the market. So less weight means more efficient vehicles. The cable harness in a car is the third heaviest component. So being able to reduce that weight will lead directly to more fuel efficient vehicles. But why Ethernet when there's already so many data bus technologies in the car? such as CAN, FlexRay, LIN. Ethernet's been around for the past 40 years and has been proven to be very robust in the market. There's many new data rates, up to 400 gig Ethernet currently, and we're looking at up to 800 gig within the next few years. These supported rates will be very useful in the driver-assisted future that is expected in the automotive industry. The IOL's been involved with the single-pair Ethernet industry for almost 10 years, stemming back to the original days of the Open Alliance where we were testing broad R reach physical layer conformance. Since then, we've expanded to 100 base T1, 1000 base T1, and the current 10 base T1S and 10 base T1L solutions for the automotive and industrial markets, respectively. So in addition to those technologies, the IEEE is currently developing the multi-gig automotive ethernet solution with support for two and a half, five, and 10 gig. Currently, the IOL offers testing for 100 base T1 and 1000 base T1 PHI solutions, specifically the Open Alliance TC1 and TC12 test plans. In addition to that, we also support the TC10 wake sleep test plan from the Open Alliance. Within the last few months, the IEEE just completed the 10 base T1S and 10 base T1L specification. Many customers are already asking for this test service because it's expected to be replacing previous legacy automotive technologies. So that was a very brief snapshot of the test services for Automotive Ethernet offered at the IOL. As Automotive Ethernet evolves, the IOL will be there offering test services for every Phi solution. As these technologies come out, I hope to give you further updates and look forward to talking to you in the future. Thanks.